Hi, this is Bartek Skorupa with a demo of Compositing Bundle, which is a set of three pixel bender plugins, Mix Color, Mix Layer and Smart Set Mat. Let's start with a Smart Set Mat. The purpose of this effect is exactly the same as a standard Set Mat effect, so it takes the information from another layer and converts it into the alpha channel. This is the reflection pass that comes from 3D application, and I will take the layer that I call Alpha Body, and take its alpha channel and convert it into the alpha channel of this layer. I can take a look at the image that I used. Here I have the pop-up display and I can choose the input image and this is how this layer looks like. So I took its alpha channel and converted it into the alpha channel of this layer. Let's change it back to the result. As you can see here I have several other options of the display. What's cool about the Smart Set Mat effect is that it's 32 bits per channel compatible. Our project is set to 32 bits per channel. And this image has some super bright pixels, like here. Take a look at the info panel. Here we have the values of the color that exceed 1. And those values are preserved. If we use the standard Set Mat effect, let's disable this one, and here let's take alpha body and its alpha channel, you see that those super bright values disappeared. All of the colors are clipped to the values between 0 and 1. Let's mix something else into the alpha channel of this layer. I will take something like this. Let's take a look at it. This is the normal pass. Everything that is facing the camera is white and the greater the angle, the darker the image. So I would like to use the luminance of this layer as the alpha source. So let's change it back to the result and take the luminance and composite current mat is set to multiply. This means that it will take the current mat and multiply it by the input mat. I have also some other options. I can for example subtract this input mat from the current mat. Divide one by the other. Take the minimum or take the maximum or I can choose none which means that it will ignore the current mat and use only the input mat. Let's change it back to the multiply. And here inside the effect I can adjust this input mat before it's mixed using the brightness and contrast sliders. I can lower its opacity. I can also invert the input mat or invert the resulting mat. And the last option is called Mat from Self. Let's take a look at it. Let's apply another instance of Smart Set Mat. And here, by default, the layer itself is set to be the source of the alpha. But this ignores all of the effects that are applied on this layer. It takes the source of this layer as the source of the alpha. But sometimes we would like to use the current state of this layer as the source of the alpha. So we can choose to take the mat from self. Of course now the alpha changed because it took the current state of the layer as the source of the input alpha and multiplied it by the current alpha. If we choose here to none, we can simply adjust the current state of the alpha. Okay, so this is smart set mat. Let's take a look at the other two. Mix layer. This will take another layer and mix it into the current layer. So the behavior is similar to compound arithmetic. Let's apply it and delete all of the smart set maths. And I can take another layer and mix it into the current layer. Those controllers here allow me to adjust this input layer before it's mixed. Here I can choose the blending mode that will be used to mix this input layer. So let's maybe mix something else into this layer. Like I will take the base to diffuse and use the multiply blending mode. So what I did right now is exactly the same as if I took this layer and place it above this layer and change the blending mode to multiply here. And inside the effect I can adjust this input layer using those six controllers like gain gamma lift sliders and gain gamma lift colors. Gain Gamma Lift concept is used in most of the color correction tools, color grading tools. Because of the algorithm that is used, we can say that Gain is for highlights, Gamma for midtones and Lift for shadows. 
So here we adjust the overall levels of the highlights, overall gain value, overall lift value, or gamma, or mid-tones. We can also use the color pickers to push the highlights, mid-tones, and shadows into some color. When I am working with those color pickers, I mostly set the brightness as the main control here, instead of using the hue, which is the standard. Because in my opinion, this can better mimic the color wheels. Of course, we don't have the color wheel here, but the color picker. But this feels more like a proper color correction, color grading tool. Let's take another instance of mixed layer. And it, of course, instantly brought back the original state of this layer because it's selected here in the input too. But we can use this effect as the color correction tool. We can set the self color correction and we can use those controllers to adjust the current state of this layer. Here we have the checkbox that is called preserve luma. Let's turn it on. If we use it, we should first adjust the overall levels of gain gamma lift and then simply pick the colors and as you can see the brightness of this color will not affect the overall luminance of the image if we disable it the brightness of those colors will affect the luminance and then, after all those adjustments, we can tint the result if we want to. Of course, the amount to tint is set to zero by default, but we can increase it and change those colors, map white to, map black to. Let's reset this. Now, this effect is also 32 bits per channel compatible, so it preserves the super bright values. But if we want to, we can clip the output white. So those values will be clipped. Okay, so let's composite something. What I did was I took all of the render passes that I have, I placed them into the composition, locked them, disabled the visibility, and made them shy. So now I will hide all of the shy layers, and I am left only with a black solid with no effects applied to it. And I will try to do all of the compositing on this black solid. So let's mix the first layer. I will take the color pass. Now I will duplicate it and take the two diffuse pass with the multiply blending mode. Duplicate and take the ambient occlusion with the multiply blending mode. Now I will add the specular to this. I can rename the effects so that I know what they are doing. Let's make this image a little bit brighter. And maybe lower the opacity of the specular pass. Here I have the slider for the opacity this slider effect strength this is the slider that determines the strength of all of the corrections that are made using those controllers and what i would like to do now is to composite the reflection pass but only on the car paint i would like to ignore all of the other areas so the way i do it is first determine the alpha that will be used to mix the layer i want to mix so I will take Smart Set Mat, take the Alpha Body layer, then I will take the Mix layer, take the Reflect Pass, and now I will take the advantage of the fact that although here in those areas the Alpha is set to zero, it doesn't mean that the information about the colors of this area disappeared. Those colors are still there. We can take a look at them by changing this to RGB straight, so as you can see those colors remained. And I can bring them back here inside the mix layer effect.
I can simply set full output mat. Bam. And it brought back the rest of the image. Let's rename this effect to reflect and change the blending mode to add. And of course I can adjust it as I want. And here we have the checkbox that is called Use Current Mat for Input. Let's disable it and see the difference. In this case, all of the pixels of the image, even those ones that have the alpha of zero, are affected by this layer. If we turn the Use Current Mat for Input on, the pixels with the original alpha of zero will not be affected by this layer. Now, blending modes. I have included almost all of the blending modes that are available here in After Effects and I also included some other ones, so simply play with them and take a look at how they work.